lab. I'm going to show you guys how I use it. This is what I use every single day. All right. Basically, this is your opening screen. Um, basically, you're going to hit do batch. Uh, that date, you know, this is um, where everything goes. Individual products, you can do either way. Um, FBA is your channel. Live flow, you want to always go live flow. That way you'll, it separates as it goes, okay? Label my items, all right? Basically, it's going to just pop up here into the first bar queue thing over here, okay? So basically, you just scan your first CD or whatever. Book, CD, whatever you're doing, you know? Um, basically, and what I do is I have it all preset. I don't really much touch anything. Uh, I, I'm more of a work, work smarter, not harder kind of guy. So basically... You can see the CDs ranked, you know, in the top less than one percent, so it'll sell within a couple days. Quantities one. This is the cost it got me for the date I bought it was actually here. So you can adjust your date with the calendar. Just click anywhere on the calendar part, and you can adjust the date. So I bought this on the fourth. I bought like a thousand CDs that day, and I bought these at a half price. <coughs> so. Like new condition, I just made up something here just to like new condition. You can do whatever, copy it or whatever. But, um, you know, I already know in the first step that I did, you remember the first video, I already know that it's this CD that I'm listing is already going to make me money. So I don't really care about any, any of this at all, really. So basically, I have my list price set at 25, okay? And what you want to do to do that, you're just going to go hit this little icon up here, settings. Uh, you can do your addresses. You can do your default condition notes are here. So as you do, uh, like you, you can change them up and type type whatever you want, copy and paste whatever you want. You know, in, in, whatever you want to do on those. You know, you can do acceptable. Um, but basically, on your on your um, you know, same thing with supplier list. You can have all your supplier list here. Expense categories are the same here. Um, Auto price rule, this is where it is. I basically, I just price it everything. You can do an auto price value. You can do on the fly, you can just do match buy box and it'll price everything at the buy box. But the bad thing about that is a lot of this, you know, it's very fluid Amazon. So by the time your product gets to Amazon in three to five days and gets checked in, this buy box is not going to be accurate. It's already going to be, you know, changed because it's already, everything's going to be sold probably already. So what I do is you can you can do the auto price and you can do this here and you say you want to price your product at uh, you know fifty percent higher than than the buy box you can do that and it'll price it higher. But with my auto pricer, you know the, the newer pricer I have, I just price everything at twenty five bucks. Now unless I'm scanning a CD or a book and its value is above twenty five, then I'll adjust that manually. But most of the stuff I have is going to be under twenty five bucks. So uh, well, you're going to go to list again. Um, it's already set up. The blue thing means that's the thing it's set up on, okay? So I'm just going to scan your CD again. No, like I said, everything's set at 25. Every, so all i got to do is hit submit and save, okay? That's all I do. I scan, scan it once, hit submit and save, and it goes to wherever it's going to go. So this one is going to go to Tampa 1, Tampa 1, which is already have a box open. So what I do on these, I have, you know, however, however many boxes. This is four, All my products are going to four different places. My Ontario has got a, some books going. My Rick 2 has got books and CDs. Abe's got CDs. Tampa's got CDs. Um, so basically on the bottom, on the on the floor next to my computer, I have four boxes open. Tampa, Abe, Ontario, and Rick. You want to write on the label of the box which one it is. Rick, Tampa, Ontario, and just in a black Sharpie. And then as you scan in your live mode, this is going to save you a ton of time. You just put it in the box it goes in. So this one here. You drop it in the Tampa box. And the next one, you drop in whatever box. You know, the next one, you drop in the same box. That way, you have, you know, you only touch it once, okay? This is another CD I did, Nickelback. Um, you know, there's no FBA. You make, you know, when you're doing FBA, just make sure and check, hit this one here. Sometimes the FBA doesn't come up. See all these FBAs that didn't come up on the original screen? You know, Amazon's at nine new. So if I'm going to come in very, and there's no like news, okay? You got very goods coming from 4.79 to 6.99. I'm going to come in like new at like 7.30, okay? Um, see, even even though, you know that that's the thing is these prices aren't the cheapest. So that inventory lab only pulls. See, inventory lab over here only pulls 
the lowest 20. These are the lowest 20, okay? So make sure and always, when you see nothing here, make sure and always click that button prime and see it didn't show any of these. So you're thinking, hey man, I'm gonna make, and there's no FBA listings at all. You got two pages of FBA listings there, I mean. So you got all these people at FBA, you know, all of them here at FBA. And I don't know, on these guys, you guys, if you, you know, if you're, you're not going to sell anything here if Amazon is at $9. Why would anybody buy from you double the price if Amazon has it for $8.99? These guys are going to sit on their product until Amazon runs out. They're never going to sell anything. So if you got over here, you got Amazon right here at $8.99. And you have a new one, you need to match them at $8.99 or you have your pricer. I have my pricer go 11 cents lower than Amazon. Um, like I said, there's no like news. You'll, you know, you got one like new right here. I'm sorry. Hawthorne Academy or whatever. Uh, like new. But they're, they're matching their like new at, at Amazon's new price. They're not going to sell their CD. Um, even though they're, they're very good and got a hundred and something thousand rankings. Um, they're going to need to come down a little bit because nobody's going to buy a like new if Amazon's at new at $8.99. You need to come in like at $7.20 or $7.30 for like new. Uh, these guys are not going to sell their CD. Um, so basically, yeah, on that, so, so basically, you know, that's all I, oops, sorry, my Keepa. So basically, that's all, all, all I do is scan it, nothing changes. I just got to set this here. Uh, where did I do this at? Half price, okay. And this, this normally sets. I don't know why it changed, but... And you hit Submit and Save. That's all there is to it. You just hit two things. See, now this one's going to go in the different box. This is going to go into RIC 2, so you need to put this one in the RIC 2 box. It's like, say with ScanLister, you're using ScanLister. I don't know, everybody uses ScanLister because they're cheap. They're 20 bucks or whatever, and they're fast. But the thing is, after you scan 100 CDs, then you got to find them and put the labels on them. And, so, and half the time I tried ScanLister... I had to hunt down CDs, and I hate hunting down CDs. It's a complete waste of time. With my new Apple computer, the label prints out in less than a second. It's super fast compared to my, I had a, a laptop, you know, a desktop, a Lenovo computer, uh, a desktop, you know, and it was much slower than my Apple. Um, now this label prints within a second of me hitting the submit button, okay? So it's very simple, guys, on how you use Inventory Lab. Basically, it'll give you everything you need. And if you make a boo-boo or something, hit Edit. You know, if you say if you price it, you know, put it in the wrong category. You know, put it in that. You know, change it up. You know, you can change up anything here. Um, anything here. Say you want to look at, you know, Camel on here and just hit Camel. It'll put, show you the Camel. Camel, Camel, Camel up. It'll show you everything they have here. Uh, usually I don't care about all the long year. I'm, I care about the last three months. Um, so basically you have somebody, you know, let me see if I can, um, uh, try and do. Uh, I was trying to, trying to make it bigger for you. Okay. Just say, you know, they had a sell here on the, on that day at $7. Somebody sold one at seven. Somebody sold FBA at eight on the same day. Somebody sold another one at 1028 on the same day, uh, maybe two days in a row, and then it dropped out. Nobody sold anything, so it dropped out. Dropped right back down to eight. You know, the price came back down to eight. Eight. Now it's at 899. That's what Amazon's at. So Amazon has moved their price accordingly. This is Amazon, okay? Third party new. Third party new is way down here. They're at two bucks. See, so two dollars Amazon new, which is, yeah, I really don't care. Um, but yeah, it's it's that simple, guys. If you want to go even close, you can go down to one month range. This is for the the last month sales rank. You want to flip it over to sales rank? Oh, I got to log in. Sorry, guys. Um, but it's that simple, guys. It's it's that simple to use. And then um, you go back to your list. And after when you're done, you got you'll have like you know however many you're doing anywhere from you can do up to two, you can do you can stop at two if you want to. All you do is take a complete batch. You'll hit OK to send your feeds. And uh, it'll adjust, it'll update these prices. Now these will not change over here until you print your label and marked as shipped on your on your seller central. Okay, you have to do that. Otherwise, these will not change. And you'll have to hit sync when you do that. Uh, once you mark, you know, you do your label, 
click on your little thing on, on Amazon Seller Central that says Mark is shipped. You come over here to sync, say I ship Tampa out today, uh, and you hit sync, Tampa will disappear. Otherwise, if you don't sync this, or say you're over on Seller Central and you print your label, but you do not uh, mark as shipped on the little checkbox under the thing marked as shipped, say you ship this out today at 47 and then say tomorrow you start adding another 20, this is going to go up to 67 and you can't fix it because the other one's already shipped. So you got to remember to mark your shipped on there, okay, guys? Very simple, Inventory Labs. Um, just a quick quick demo. Hope you like it. I'm trying the new uh, the screen the screen thing on my Apple iMac. So it works really good, it looks like. So I'm going to stop this. This is my first video using their screencast o thing. So uh, enjoy, Inventory Lab.